All right, onward. So we fought two bosses. I can never remember how long these these runs are in terms of like floor length and stuff like that. I doubt I'm gonna want a new weapon at this rate. You know what I mean? Pistol of lightning, sort of corrosion. Whenever your attacks crit, regain 10 HP, minus, max HP minus 20%. That's actually really interesting. Not be knocked back. I'm gonna stick with my current one, but that's actually really, really, really interesting. Mega Shroom, normal attack damage plus 50%, base MP cost plus 100%. Whenever damage is taken, 30% chance that'll it be reduced by 50%. That's okay. How much gold do I have? 1299. Whenever a skill is on cooldown, gain a stacking buff 10%. Skill power max for stacks. That's not horrible. I'm just gonna go in on all. I'm going all in on attack damage. I think here, right? Let's just do it. I don't have anything on lock on my sword, right? Nope. It just seems to like our weapon kind of uh, seems to be leaning that way, and a lot of our relics are going that way. Oh, man. The skills are really just there for the utility more than anything, it would appear. All right, we'll see how we do, though. Tower of Sinners. Okay. This should break. I really wish the game kind of just told you, but then it might not be as good. A lot of these enemies are just dying, huh? You can just do this. So edge adjacent just means left, right, up, down. And uh, that was, some of the wording in this game is is truly not very clear. All right, so that blessing's over. Blessing, curse, whatever. The thing that locked the familiars. Now, I don't keep that buff, right, or anything? All right, the last gem. Should it be the trigger rate or the damage, I wonder? Trigger rate means that the paralysis triggers twice. 40% chance. I'm just gonna go with the damage, I think. I'll try it out. Is my glove good to go? It is. Wonder how much damage it does now. Let's try it out here. Crap. Stupid pumpkin. I could have gone way further. It dealt a damage. Uh, let's skip a turn. Let's move over here. Bonk. Penguin's not at me yet. Penguin is now at me. Definitely don't want to suffer an elemental status. 236. 195. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage. Just move behind the pumpkin and start wailing on them, honestly. All right, well, now I gotta move. Let's do the bounce back move so I don't get hit. This should break. I just add to break, but sometimes I swear I get an additional than what it says. You're dead. We can blink here, right? With no real penalty. 191, Starlight Daggers. The daggers! I, they don't sound good, and I've been told they're not good. Someday I'll try it. But in the meantime, I'd love to just make progress in the game. All right, what do you got? Charge clip. Gain an attack buff depending on the current shield absorption. Increases attack by five for every 10 absorption. So I don't have any shield thing going on. Gain a shield of 10 absorption whenever damage is dealt to enemies under elemental status conditions. Yeah. When suffering a hit that would otherwise kill you, your HP will set to be 1 instead. It can only be activated once per floor. Huh. When dealing skill damage, you will obtain a shield equal to 10% of damage afflicted, lasting 3 turns. None of these are amazing, I gotta say. It's obviously not the charged clip. I guess this can't hurt me. I mean, none of these can hurt me. Uh, this gives me a shield, at least, I guess. I don't know if I'm that good at dealing... Now that I'm going more attack-oriented, I'm not doing a lot of elemental status conditions. It's kind of the question of shield of spells or focus sash. I'll take the focus sash, I guess. It's the lore scroll. 
Okay. I'm gonna try to talk to the parrot. Put the coins in the pouch. Secret room is attached to every room you enter will be marked in your mini-map. I don't have enough money. I could come back and do it. it seems kind of late for it, though. I don't have a key here. I think that's a usable item that heals you, which wouldn't be horrible. I don't like that they put small amounts of gold in all the pots, kind of. Because then, it, like, uh, it feels like I'm incentivized to go... What is going on over there? You see this? What the heck? Some kind of puzzle or something. Can't reach, though. Huh. Strange. Don't know. Okay, I could use the gravity well here. Maybe not yet. Now I can use it. Bring them all right in front of me and stun them. Bonk! They're alive again, but that's okay. We can do that. This should be fine. Man, that status condition is pretty annoying, though, I'll say. Turns out. We can do that. The move. You can definitely get some buffs that make you immune to status conditions, which would be great in this instance. There are bombs. Okay, that's fine. That will break the one that's casting, so I won't get hit. There you go. There we go. And we're good. I do indeed have a key. I'm lucky I didn't get hit by that bomb. I didn't even notice it. And so we could go get that ham or whatever it is. Right about now. Do I want to swap anything here? What does the pumpkin do again? Charge it at the target, dealing 17 physical damage and stunning it. Might not be horrible for me. I like the something that gives me some movement and or gives enemies movement, like the trickster stun and stuff like that. I think the trickster stun is kind of too good for manipulating where the enemies wind up and everything. You know, it does cost a lot of mana, though. Mini boss here. We got the swash kakla. Okay. Oops. I meant to just wait a turn, but that's the same. I think this will break, this move, because uh, we do four attacks plus the two that I'd normally have. Okay. Okay. Give me a crit. Come on. This will not break, so let's do the back step move. And boom. Did get one crit there. 325, honey. 162. It's pretty hard. And he should be dead now. Lovely. Gotta kill the frog here. Rip the frog. There we go. Was that a gun? Torture! No thanks. No thanks. I have my angelic sword. One relic, please. The minimum damage for single attacks will always be more than 20. That doesn't seem good for us at all. We deal way more than that. Obtain a damage buff every five turns based on number of hits dealt during these five turns. Plus 2% damage for every hit last two turns. Race the enemies will also be imprisoned. No. Gain a shield from that. I guess it's the trusted counter. This is, this feels very Slay the Spire-ish, where I need to start counting things, and I'm totally not going to be able to do that. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't know I could do another one. Oh, that's perfect, then. I didn't think there was a... F I thought you could only do four. All right, I got to remember to use that gauntlet. I could kind of fast forward to the boss here, and I might do that, because we're looking pretty strong. And I'm still at full health and everything. Let's see what we got here first, though. A fully armored knight paces anxiously inside the room after a short conversation you find out that young arthur here is on a mission to the realm of no return to save the most beautiful elven princess whoever he lacks necessary funds to purchase this weapon arthur promises to give you an extra elixir if his mission proves successful with your help would you like to fund it sure and i probably don't really need this gold that much anymore 
80% chance to succeed. Wait, did it fail? With the powerful weapon you so generously gifted, Arthur enters dangerous forest without looking back. You patiently wait for him at the entrance, but to no avail. You hear the sound of metal clashing, beasts roaring, and a finally a piercing scream before the longest and most dreadful silence. Oh, come on! Talk about scammed over here. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. This requires two keys. Too bad. Would've been nice. Am I already done with this floor? Pretty much. Wait, what was this one about? Oh, it required money, which I don't have. Because of the stupid... Knight, or whatever. We got the ham, though. Oh, crap. It just heals you right now? Oh, what a waste. Well, yeah, I don't think it mattered, because I don't know if I could have used that key anyway. I thought... I thought it... I thought you could save it for later, kind of thing. Ah, what a waste. Oh well, onward. Were we at the true boss yet? I doubt it. That was a really quick floor. <laughs> now nah, we're just finding a, another mini boss. Lay Witch. So those things cause poison. I don't know how much I should care, though. Go ahead and use this. Be nice if I could hit one of those orbs, but what can you do? Double hits. Is this now? Sure. It reduces it by four. Seems to make sense. Let's do an aggressive blink in here. She's all greasy. What does that mean? Oh, so being paralyzed means they can't perform normal attacks? Oh, I'm learning. Elemental damage taken increased by 50%. Should I do that while she's greasy? Well, I should do this attack first. She's no longer paralyzed. Can't break her here. No, I can, but I have to blink toward her. I think it does, at least. Hope it does. All right, thought so. I'm gonna get some more poison in the room, but that's okay. And got plenty of time here. Gotta move away. I definitely need to let a lot of poison just sit on the ground, huh? Just move out of that. She is greasy again. I mostly want to save my mana for other things, though. Let's use this, because that'll break for eight, which is nice. I don't even know if this witch does normal attacks. Okay, let's start hitting. Okay, and then this should break for like eight or something. Boom. Okay, let's move. Yeah, I got huge damage buffs. Doing pretty well here. So I haven't taken any damage. Just summoning orbs. I have six blinks. I'm gonna break this orb. It's not gonna hurt me, right? Oh, I got greased. Which only matters if I actually take a hit anyway. Do the knockback here. Oh, she's silenced now. Oh, right, because that's a wind skill, and I have that thing that silences... Enemies might use a wind skill. Interesting. Tria? I don't know. Sounds like you need some triage, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, that was a very good fight, I'd say. We took no damage, and it went quickly, so I guess I can't complain, right? All right, what do we got here? MP plus 10 whenever you use blink. Not horrible. Whenever your skills deal damage, remove 10 shield and increase damage done with this skill usage by 50%. This one's confusing, to be honest. Uh, I don't love it. I mean, I'm not using skills that much. The more enemies in combat there are in the room, the more your P defense will be raised. Hmm. 15% chance to paralyze attackers when hit by a normal attack. 
not horrible. Like, I've had to deal with this, and... I don't know, it's kind of interesting here, honestly. MP plus 10 whenever you use blink. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna take that, especially with the extra MP usage. I'm gonna need it. Definitely crit damage here now, since I'm not using a lot of skills, but yeah. All right, onward. All right. Need a quick bio break. Bio is always an interesting term to refer to the bathroom felt. No, it's like a biological function or whatever. It still just seemed a little strange. These weapons do not look very good. I do not have any money for that. How are my usable items? I do have two empty slots, though, so I should probably spend some money. Deals poison damage to one enemy while applying five stacks of poison to them as well. Invincible against all normal attacks on usage, lasting one rent. Oh, only one rent. Apply stun debuff to all enemies within the room. Okay, so I can buy two of these. I guess the shield of flames and the stun? I don't know if I'm at the boss yet. I feel like I'm not. The busy boss, the biggie boss. But maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Find out. Don't watch a lot of other roguelikes come out. Totally got baited into Deathloop being a roguelike when it's really nowhere near, sadly. It's even tagged on Steam as a quote-unquote roguelike. It's just not, though. It's a good game, but it's not a roguelike. Like, not even a little bit, I would guess. Let's do that for no particular reason. We'll give them the lightning orb or some crap. All right, start swinging. You will be broken. There's a bomb going off. It looks like it says it's three turns. I was gonna have to move eventually anyway, so this is fine. There we go. Okay, you're broken. This enemy to my right can't attack me, but something hit me. How dare you? Now I'm on fire. Jeez, there's so many enemies in this room, huh? Let's use our glove, huh? By the time I remembered to do that. Well, that did quite a bit, actually. Dang it, the mummy came back. Wow, I actually took a lot of damage from this room already, shockingly. Unable to attack, skipping turn. Was I paralyzed? Maybe, but I'm not anymore. Didn't realize. I'm out of mana. I have blinks, but... I kind of have to do something here. There we go. That did some work. Jeez, that... That was rough, huh? You're running at 50 HP shield for three turns. Should the shield be depleted before its duration runs out, the caster will be stunned for one turn. Otherwise, the caster gains 20 HP. Seems really good. Let's see, what am I dropping for that? Probably the meteors. I just need the like utility of stunning things and stuff. That just deals fire damage. I'll skip that for now. Kind of just want to skip ahead now because these rooms suddenly feel quite dangerous. I can open the sarcophagus? Well, I can't say no. Intrigued by what lies within, you push that lid aside with all your strength and extravagantly dressed mummy rises slowly before turning to you. Who dares disturb my slumber? Answer my question or you'll be vanquished. Admit that you're an adventurer. Pretend to be one of her loyal servants. Dry your weapon and denounce the mummy queen. Oh, man, I don't know. I shall challenge the mummy queen. Oh, it's just these mummies? Whatever. <laughs> Why are there three now? Why aren't they moving? Okay. Break you. Now I have to move. You have to destroy the wraps, right? Here, I think. The fact that I have to move kind of ruins this quite a bit. Okay, we're fine. I'm 
just gonna blink over here so I don't take the status effect. There we go. What's that? After lava damage is dealt, reduce target's lava resistance. I've seen that stuff around and I've never really known the purpose. That's like a mini boss. I'd rather just skip it, to be honest. Ooh, this room looks spicy too, though. Lightning orb? I think these are like... I don't know what they are. Spiderlings now. Okay. That one's stunned. The one below is me stunned, so I can do that. Now I need to move, though. You can go over here. Break that. So many spiders. They're the worst. Let's do this. Let's do that. Oh, crap. I didn't see the spiders to my south. Okay, I think we're okay. That's still stunned, but there's something below me now. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh man, they're trapping me now. Alright, just teleport then. Okay. They're all dead, right? I think so. Taunting doll. Taunt all enemies within a 3x3 diamond area around the user and draw their attacks. Loss 3 hits. Or until broken. Nah. Nah. Okay, so do I have to go up now? I do have to go up. Alright, it actually shows me the boss on the map. So just head left after this. Wind Blade Overlord. Let's do this. We'll break that. Hit you. I have to sort of run away. Maybe I should just try to kill the ads first. Okay. Now we just dodge this crap. That hit me! Better not have. Come on. Do a move! I don't think it's hitting me. I think it's like a buff. It applies on itself. Oh, right. I can just attack it now. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I'm gonna save my mana in case I get into a rough position. I feel like I shouldn't use mana just to try to speed things up necessarily. Alright, well, I'll use this just to break it. Okay, let's move. Attack. 294 is a wonderful number. Come on. Okay. Alright, now I can just hit it. I mean, not a sloppy fight at all. Because I didn't take damage, but there's something concerning about... It not dying faster, I will say. I keep thinking like we get these relics that make us insane, but maybe it's not as insane as I thought. When attacking stunned enemies, normal attack damage will be increased by 50%. Wow. That sounds pretty good. Skill damage. No, we don't want that really. Deal extra damage based on current buffs applied to self whenever an enemy is broken. This one is annoying because you don't even know what it's talking about. Like, what does it mean? You know what I mean? Oh, God. <sighs> Like, how much damage? How much extra damage? Whenever damage is dealt to edge-adjacent enemies, obtain a shield that can absorb 5 damage. Expires after current turn. That doesn't sound very good. It only lasts for one turn? I, why would I... I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that interacts with shields, but I didn't get any of it. I guess we're going to take Pumpkin Head here. We're going to be dealing the damage. Alright, what do we got here? Do I want to swap anything here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's check out this chest. Yeah, I can't get that. Uh, there's a potential buff up here. Let's check that out. 
And then we'll probably just go to the boss now. Ooh, replenish. Elixir plus one. Will that go beyond my current? This is really good. A winged fairy seems to have taken to you. You hear her gentle whispers echoing your mind. Wary traveler, rejoice in my presence. Shall help you the journey in the form of your choice, if you so wish. Taint Aegis the Fairy, resurrect upon death, regain 10% of your max HP. I would venture to guess that one or two is the best here. But I don't, th there's things I don't know. So I already have that relic that's supposed to block death dealing damage. I don't know if it's gonna, if the game is gonna like have a bad interaction there, if I take the Aegis. And, you know, they're both are gonna trigger at once, which you don't want that to happen. And I don't know if I can actually get a third elixir here. I don't know. It's tough. Hmm. Do I just find out about replenish, maybe? Because I think that might be the strongest one. It's a lot of health. Let's find out. It didn't work! What a waste. Now we know. You can't go over two, at least not without something else. Maybe there's a permanent buff to let's go over two. Dang, dang, dang. That's too bad. What can you do, though? <sighs> that room was so good, too. Let's check out this treasure chest room over here, because I do get healing for five for every new room I walk into, also. But I might as well take rooms that don't hurt me, because I'm not at full health. Uh, so we can go to this bottom room since this exclamation point. I don't have a key for that. I'm almost certainly not taking this. Now immune to elemental status conditions, however, all incoming damage will be twice as strong. It's kind of tempting, but it's probably also really incorrect. Should I try to go further? I don't think so. Our health isn't horrible. It's just not amazing. Would have felt nice to be at max health for this, but what can you do? All right, let's go. Is this the final boss now? I feel like it should be. This fight can take a long time. I don't think I've seen this boss. I'm pretty sure. City of Steam. Yeah, I have not. Never been here. Welcome to the wedding of the famed doctor. Your gauntlet looks very eye-catching. It would make a great wedding gift. Gift the gauntlet. Well, I can only use it once. And it might even be on cooldown. I don't know. Maybe this makes the fight easier by giving it. The bride blessed you and invited you. Do I get a buff or something? Blessed by the bride, immune to scorched and stunned. All damage taken minus 20%. I'll consider that worth it. Honestly. Over a one-time use of the gauntlet, assumedly. So it's a wedding? God, weddings are terrible, kinda. When you're just like a an attendee. Oh, it's Frank or whatever. This has to be it. Oh god. Bride of Frankenstein or whatever here. The machine is running at full capacity already. There's no way oh, okay. That text went quickly. There's someone ahead. Who's there? Who are you? It's me! Dr. Frank. Must be Elena's guest. Thanks for being here on the happiest day of our lives. Oh, is he marrying the robot? You're being rude, young lady. Elena's not just a robot. She's the love of my life and the one I'm destined to be bound to for eternity. What a fool. All right. Uh, the profound beauty of science cannot be comprehended with the impotent brain such as yours after all. You know what? If Frank's happy, let him have it. You know what I mean? Why am I disturbing poor Frank? You will suffice as witnesses to our ceremony nonetheless. Come, Elena, let us walk down the aisle towards happiness everlasting. Turn the device... Turn the device to complete the circuit in 100 turns so that Frank can be stopped. Huh? Turn the device. I think I have to solve a puzzle here. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Is it one more? I think it's one more. Shit, I messed up. I couldn't tell if it was a three-way. It's probably just a two-way. 
I need to look at the rest of the room is the thing. So where is the circuit going? To the left or to the right or both? Looks like both, kind of. I guess we'll go right first because that's kind of how I set this up for this. I don't know if I should blink or what. Now there are enemies. Oh, crap. Oh, it teleported me? Oh, it's not that bad. As long as you don't deal damage. Oof. Did it work? Okay, I got one. Oh, that dealt damage. To Frank the Crazed. 748 to be precise. Now I have to go back like all the way to the beginning, really. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Fine, it's fine. Ignore that. I think I'm gonna blink here. Do I even bother breaking this? Okay, you're running away, so I guess I'll let that happen. Probably should not use my blink. Definitely shouldn't use my mana. I think we might be okay. Alright, I see what we need to do here. It's not that hard. Let's just break this. Leave it there. It's fine. That's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. Those enemies are gonna try to attack. Almost there. Several turns left. No problem. There we go. So now what happens? Because I blew up both of the things, it looks. It's not gonna just make me do this over and over again, is it? It lists an armor number I'm noticing there. Why are you still not awake? Oh god, Frank. Oh no. Oh, because that's Frank probably now. I wonder what happens if you let the robot come about. Does that even, like, work, I wonder? Teleport over here and start taking care of this thing? Sure. Uh, I should not use the stun here, really. Oh, I got teleported by these. It's fine. Kind of farming up some plus damage with the adds here. And blinks, for that matter. Okay, let's... Can I suck them all in? A bit. Alright, I can hit one of them. I thought I was hitting Frank with that. Let's move. Okay, that's fine. Let's teleport down here. At the teleport again. Don't have enough mana for most of my things here. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let me look at my usable items real quick. I can stun everything in the room if I get into a bad spot. So let's get that ready. Can I get my first day two win in here, maybe? Let's move. Okay, let's move back. Um, I can't break that thing or anything. I could choose to stun right now instead of blinking here. I did have five blinks, so maybe that was unnecessary. Frank is doing something all right. I have to move anyway. See, I should I should have blinked right in front of Frank and started wailing on him here. I feel kind of a mistake. I don't think I break for five here is the problem. Enemies with normal attack cast will suffer a minor amount of electricity damage to be paralyzed, so it doesn't make me immune to damage. Let's just start moving away here. It's fine. That's fine. Do that. 
Frank is a tile away, so that's fine. So now I could blink in front, which I guess I will. And this will break. And we're at plus 100% damage, so that's pretty good. I got teleported. Potentially because I wasn't paying attention. I'm at seven blinks, which is the max, so... I can go over here, it's fine. Something hit me. <laughs> Don't really know how or why. Ooh, 668 on Frank. No way this is gonna be that easy. Is something in front of me? I think so. Frank's doing a big move or something here. Don't really know what it is. It's just like a damage buff or something, I assume. Let's just go over and kill this enemy. Let's see. So I have the suck here. Maybe I should use one of these while I can. Maybe the shield. I don't even know if I'll... It'll heal me, so... I mean, it's fine. I can't really do anything else this turn, it looks. All right, let's get behind Frank again. I can do a big break here. I see Frank to come toward me now. I have to move, though. I have to move again. Damn it. Nope! I tried to hit the lever by accident. Dang it, game! Oy, I want to hit the guy behind Frank, kind of, too. Maybe I shouldn't right now. That thing's about to start attacking me. Now I can do it? Actually, I think that one above me is attacking, too, so that's not going to work. It doesn't help me. I could do this. Gosh, I wish I could keep attacking Frank. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's blink over here. Frank's getting low. I have a hard time believing that this is the end of the fight already, though. Frank's still stunned for one more turn. Frank down. Oh, does the robot wake up now? Elena? I was gonna say, there's no way that's all of it. The other two bosses I fought were way more difficult. Mechanical Bride Online. It looks like... Is there something I want to do here with the electricity on the ground now? Let me read it. Immune to paralyzed, frozen, taunted, knockback, silenced. Wow. Okay, those are many things. I have six blinks. I have very little mana. Pretty much have to blink here. Well, I pretty much have to blink here, too. How annoying. I don't even know what's doing this attack. Maybe it's the bride. I'm gonna have to blink again. I might as well try to kill this ad first, though. I guess we head towards the bride. Wow. That seemed like a lot of stuff. Looks like she's performing a move. Can I move up? Not. I can blink right in front, though. 530 that just dealt? Wow. I don't see armor on her. Oh. I guess I can just keep hitting away here, then. Exhausted. Energy has been depleted for the mechanical bride. She will not be able to act for a while. It is quite a while, really. Okay, good. I can move so I don't get a status effect here. My mana is now full, actually. But I don't see a reason to cast a spell here, honestly. I have to kind of kill this. 
He's coming back. I can get a hit off and then teleport. Looks. Um. Let's see. I can stun everything. That's just one turn. I don't think I'm really going to utilize these. Set that up. Let's just blink right back in front of her. Let's take care of this thing real quick. So one. Oh, those flames are going to stay, aren't they? At least for a little while. Ah, oh, dang, that's frustrating. So you really don't want to be right in front of her. What is this waiter doing? Can't actually tell. Oh, it drops a bomb. That's fine. Still two turns on it. Can't tell if that hit me or not. Let's just get right in front. Let's break. Teleport away. I think I can teleport right here. We're safe. Yep. There we go. Some big hits going on. Should I just do a stun here? Let's wait until she starts casting, maybe. It's this move, right? I have to blink if I don't want to get a condition here, though. fine. She's casting again. I don't think those ads will get me. Now it's like really hard to see what's going on. Let's go all the way down here to bait her attack further away, maybe. Okay, that's fine. There is a paralysis field up there. Let's just wait a turn, I think. All right, there we go. Broken. Waiting for that field to go away. She is down. Okay, there we go. Let's just blink right in front of her. Start hitting. I think we might get a win here. Oh, is it done? Oh, I missed whatever damage number it was, but it must have been a big number to get that, finally. Woo! Finally, day two complete, it looks. Wow. Big normal attack build. That's all we needed. Be forever trapped in this nightmare, chasing after love and affection. I can't help but feel sad for him. No one to blame but himself for his misery. He refuses to accept death as a fundamental part of life. He chose to torture himself in the fragile fantasy he built. Actually, it feels like I can somewhat understand his actions after defeating him. I think he chose to stay in this nightmare. Preposterous! Love is life no longer exists in this world. However, there's a possibility for him to re be reunited with her in the nightmare realm, so he went for it. Even if it means pain and torture with no end in sight, humans can be quite strong and determined in the name of love. At least that's what the instructor told me. Uh, it's true. So we gotta teach this crown what love is. Guess we'll worn out your patience for now. Let's get going. Can nightmares really be a source of hope? What was that? Did you say something? Never mind. Let's hurry out of there. I bet the crown's the bad guy. I bet we're the baddies in this or something. You know what I mean? All right, we got the dual blades of something or another. We got another lore fragment. Very good. And bub, day two finally complete. Ooh, there we go. Lots of meta currencies done and stuff. Look at that. What are these scores about? Chess open, elites vanquished, damage inflicted, turns consumed 1,300 at eight. Wow, imagine the strategy involved for like least number of turns in this game. Be a lot of blinking, that's for sure. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this episode of Crown Trick. Glad I could finally get day two done. I just want to take a peek at here. Oh, this is. Oh, so you have to clear all three of them. Okay, I thought you just had to do one. Alright, we'll come on back and check it out for another one soon. Great game here. Really kind of. Let's see, what's the term here? Kind of disappointing that. The game just didn't get a lot of love, honestly, so I'm happy to cover it here, you know? Nice kind of laid-back game, sort of. You know, it's not overly complex. It's as complex as you want it to be, kind of like Slay the Spire. You can choose the easier stuff, or you can choose the stuff that really makes your mind melt, I think. 
and uh, make you have to think every single turn out, you know. So, uh, yeah, great stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. Love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.